Hi, and welcome back to the final part of this tutorial series on QLab. This is really more of an epilogue because I just wanted to add a little note about QLab versus Keynote. A lot of people build tech for their shows in the Mac slideshow app Keynote, which I think is fine, but not great. And I will tell you all the reasons why I think that. In Keynote, if you have a bunch of audio cues in a row on black slides, the tech running your show will see this. Just a bunch of black slides, no way to see for sure what's on the next slide. So if they hit a key by accident and move forward or back a slide, they can very easily get lost. You can avoid this in Keynote by using the presenter notes to notate what's coming up on the next slide, but that's a lot of extra work and there's still room for error. In QLab, you can see exactly where you are in the show, and if an actor misses a line and you need to skip a cue, you can just arrow key down to the next queue you need in QLab. Much harder to do that in Keynote. You can trim media in Keynote, but you can't see the waveform while you're doing it, so it's a lot of guess and check. I think trimming is just so much easier when you can see the waveform in QLab. Keynote also does not allow you to fade transition music or fade any audio at all. So when your transition is over and you're starting the next sketch, it'll just be a hard cut on the music unless your tech person is fading manually on the audio board. The only time I really recommend Keynote over QLab is if you want your show to have a bunch of slideshow animation in it and you want to build that animation in a slideshow app. In that case, your show's probably better off in Keynote. The rest of the time, I can't recommend QLab enough. All right, that is it. My name is Derek Skelly. Thank you for listening to me talk. I'd like to thank the UCB and PAC theaters in LA for making this tutorial possible, and specifically Neve Brook, Katie Dawson, and Lauren Siegel for teaching me most of what I covered here. There are many more features to explore in QLab than I've covered in these videos, but I hope I've at least given you a solid overview so you can make a killer sketch show with killer tech. 